He's a big guy. He's a small guy. He comes in all sizes and shapes. Short, tall, skinny, and fat. Laughing, serious, happy, and sad. He's transportation with a grin on his face. Distribution with a cocked left eyebrow. He's progress with diesel fumes in his hair. He makes his living holding ten tons of steel in his hands. He has highways in his eyes. He's a truck driver. He hauls milk for the nation's babies. Dresses for the nation's ladies. Steel for our country's defense. And bread for the nation's breakfast tables. He likes straight highways, blonde waitresses, slot machines that pay off, friendly cops and bonus checks. The road's his home. He drives today so the world can live tomorrow. Laughing, cocky, husky. He's tough enough to hold his cargo against a hurricane and gentle enough to stop 10 tons of wheeled steel to let a 12 ounce kitten cross the road. He can tell you where to get the best piece of apple pie on the highway and where the radar traps are and which roads to take to make the fastest time. He hates, in the order named, phonies, road hogs, tough traffic cops, highway way stations, small town justices of the peace, steep hills, crackling cargo, and weak coffee. He's America on wheels. He's big business with a road map in his pocket. He's a truck driver. Without him, there would be no gasoline to run the nation's automobiles, no steel to make the machines, no concrete to build the highways, no merchandise to spin the wheels of trade. Born 250 years ago, he would have been a buccaneer, a privateer, a freebooting soldier of fortune. Born 150 years ago, he would have been a frontier scout, a stagecoach driver, a rider of the Pony Express. He has eyes that look over mountains. He likes to see the other side of hills. He eats better than a banker, dresses like a Texas rancher, is more independent than a newly elected senator. He's an authority on politics, women, highway construction, baseball, and the best way to run a trucking company. He likes the feel of the night wind on his face and the sound of a purring motor. He lives by the code of the road and passes no man by who needs a helping hand. He's got problems and is not bashful in airing complaints about the state of the world at large. And every trip he threatens to get off the road and live like other men. But he never does because the highway is a flirting temptress who hums a haunting tune for the men who chase the horizon on spinning wheels. And when the tires sing and the road is straight and the moon is bright on a ribbon of cross-country highway, he's the happiest, most useful man in America. He's a truck driver.